Hello everyone and welcome to the Code Reptile channel. Today I want to share with you my experience with Sony's best wireless headphones on the market as of January 2023. What do these headphones even offer for the crazy price of 400 US dollars? Could such a high price be even worth it for a regular consumer or should only professional sound designers buy this product? I've been studying these bad boys for four days and I think I'm ready to give the most detailed review. But if you don't have much time, there are timestamps in the description so you can skip the parts you're not interested in. And with that in mind, let's start the journey. Now, surely every purchase online starts with visiting the website and trying to understand the specs of the product, its features and all that good stuff. And here Sony did an amazing job. There's plenty of videos, photos and even a 3D demo. You can also make a one-time purchase without creating an account, which is always nice to see. One thing that I don't understand is why they have rather short description on the shop page and no links to the more detailed description on another page. That aside, I think everything is great, so I have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Arguably one of the most exciting parts in making a purchase is the unpacking and most companies go to great lengths to make this first experience a pleasant memory. And let's see how Sony did. Uh, the package itself came in a large box with lots of airbags so, uh, and, and the inner box itself is kind of hard so no worries about shipping damage. Um, got this little cardboard thing with the headphone image. Now the inner box itself is the classic recycled gray because Sony takes a pride in making their package from recycled materials. That's a good thing, I guess. Uh, here is the package itself. It basically consists only of the case and this little uh, envelope with all the warranties, instructions, labels and whatnot. Save that, always save that. And here is the case. Uh, now, the weird thing is actually uh, the case feels uh, like it should lay on this larger side, but it's actually quite the opposite. You kind of have to flip it around to open it. Uh, it's a little weird, but okay. Uh, and we open up the case and here they are. Uh, nice juicy headphones lying in here but there's supposed to be a cable, two cables actually, the charging cable and the uh, headphone jack cable, uh, but where are they? And uh, because I'm too smart, I instantly thought like, hey, they're behind this compartment, so I kind of have to take out all this intersection. No, it's actually a little compartment on magnets that you can open up like this and you can take uh, the charging cable and the other jack cable with yourself uh once you uh pack your headphones but sony there is just just no thing as excess labels on hidden compartments please just place a nice label here just to indicate that headphones are here uh well not the headphones the cables are here because i didn't find it uh, which means that probably someone else might not find it too uh but yeah that's uh the case and here are the headphones. Now about the case, one more thing. Uh, the case itself is kind of foldable. Like it, it, it's squishy from the back here. Like you can kind of flatten it out. Uh, but I actually don't think it's a good idea because uh, I would like this case to be a bit sturdier to protect the $400 inside of it because uh, this thing will only protect from dust and maybe a drop or two of water. But that's aside, it's a pretty decent uh, case. It has a nice feel to it. And now let's check out the headphones themselves. 
Now these aren't completely new headphones, they're actually an upgrade of the previous model but with a much more minimalistic design and many say that they have less of a premium feel to them but I have to disagree because there are no materials that feel cheap and minimalism itself isn't a less premium choice. One thing that I do mind though is that the indication of which of the headphones is left and right is in very very small symbols on both sides here and here. Uh, I don't really like that, I really like JBL's choice that they place large symbols on the inside of the cups themselves. Uh, it makes it very easy to identify which is the right way to place them. I would have liked to see that too in the Sony's headphones, but other than that, I think the design is great, but again, design is a personal matter, so you'll have to make a choice for yourselves. Gladly, there are tons of photos and videos of these headphones on the website. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the part we all came here for, and I can instantly say that this is the best sound experience among all wireless headphones on the market. The 30mm driver unit might not seem like a lot, but remember, the width of the driver is not the full story. Sure, a larger driver might give you a louder sound, but... Uh, it's more about the amplitudes of the wave rather than its shape, and it's the shape that matters if you want to hear the music exactly as the artist intended it to. And these, the driver units in these headphones are capable of producing sound frequencies from 4 to 40,000 hertz. And sure, most humans can only hear frequencies from about 20 to 20,000 hertz, but it's this extra capability to produce frequencies out of this range that allows these headphones to produce a clean sound at all frequencies and even at high volumes. Sony also took care of Bluetooth's relatively low bit rates and created their own audio coding technology named LDAC, which should transmit three times more data for a finer audio quality. Although to take advantage of it, you will need the higher bitrate files, which might not be available for all your favorite songs and on all streaming services, but I guess it doesn't hurt. However, it might not be turned on by default, and if so, make sure that you enable it in the phone settings. And last but not least is their DSEE Extreme Upscaler, which is an AI instrument like DLSS on Nvidia's GPUs, but with a slightly less pronounceable name and for audio. As claimed by Sony, it dynamically recognizes instrumentation, musical genres and individual elements of each song and restores high range sound lost in compression. This might actually be very interesting for websites like YouTube where the sound is heavily compressed and from my experience there is a slight improvement. What's also interesting is that this technology is implemented on hardware level by the headphones themselves which means that it'll work with any device, any operating system, and any application, which means it's actually usable. Active noise cancelling is a common feature in headphones these days, but its quality may vary greatly from one model to another. So how do these headphones compete? Well, they stomp all the competition. First of all, just by putting them on, even turned off, they already greatly reduce the surrounding noise. But once you turn on the active dampening, they completely block out all the surrounding sounds. However, if you decide to walk on the street, you can turn on the ambient sound mode, which will pass through the surrounding sounds. And thanks to eight microphones all throughout these headphones, they will detect the direction from where the sound is coming from and pass them through accordingly. So you can always tell where the sound is coming from, which greatly increases your safety on the streets. And they can even pick up voices while filtering out the noise if you desire so. And the general accuracy with which they pick up all the sounds and pass them through to you is so high that sometimes you can just forget that you're wearing headphones at all. 
Another feature of these headphones is their compatibility with the uh, Sony's 360 reality audio technology, which is a way for musicians to place different instruments on a virtual sphere around your head so that you can hear sounds from different directions. They even ask you to take photos of your ears to analyze them. But I personally don't think this is that good of a technology simply because it's kind of unusable for videos due to high delay of about 200 to 300 milliseconds of Bluetooth and it doesn't work by regular wire. And it's just regular sounds don't benefit that much from it. Hey, um, post recording Artem here. I just wanted to clarify that the delay is present even in regular videos, but it's not that noticeable because our brains are used to sound lagging behind the video. But when uh, we see an object like moving to the left and the sound lags behind that object, that is when our brains get kind of confused. And when our brains get confused, we get a headache and that's exactly what you get uh, from watching videos with this technology so yeah not very good and a few things i want to mention uh near the end first of all it's the mobile app uh there is a mobile app it's uh, not the best mobile app ever but it's doable it has pretty much all the settings that you want and most importantly it allows you to work with it without setting up an account which is very nice. Uh, then uh, another thing is uh, how do these headphones work with uh, eyeglasses because I have to use eyeglasses regularly and with most headphones my ears start to suffer because I have pressure on the ears uh, and from the uh, eyeglasses but luckily with these headphones there were no such problems and guys that have eyeglasses don't worry you can wear these headphones for uh, hours uh, at a time without any problems and uh, last thing i want to talk is the microphone uh, these headphones actually have a very good microphone system they have eight microphones and the uh, combined with the noise filtering algorithm that they have uh, they give out a pretty amazing sound quality uh, it's not the best in terms of actually, uh, it's not going to be like a studio voice, it's actually going to be a very phone-like voice, but uh, what's interesting is how they block out all the surrounding noise, and I'm going to demonstrate that to you right now. Right now I'm recording with my studio microphone, but with a very loud noise in the background, which is my laptop top at its full fan speed. As you can hear, uh, the laptop is pretty loud. And now let me just switch back to my headset. There we go. And as you can hear, uh, the laptop noise is almost gone. And yes, the voice isn't like the best voice ever. Uh, it's a bit like telephone-ish style but the noise reduction is absolutely amazing and this means that you can have a call in a loud street environment or underground and whoever you're talking to will be able to hear you perfectly which is absolutely amazing for headphones and uh yeah it, it's something that i really like And we come to the grand conclusions. Are these headphones worth the $400 price tag that Sony gave them? And uh, I'm gonna say yes, very much so, uh, because they have amazing audio, they have very good noise cancelling technology, uh, the design, the packaging, everything. It's really a no compromise design. And if you're looking for great headphones uh, for pretty much all your basic needs, then these headphones will be a very great choice. And if you have the money, uh, I highly recommend that you do pick them up because for me, it kind of did revolutionize the way I think about headphones and just the quality of the sound that I was expecting from headphones, uh, which is kind of a problem because now every headphones but these are kind of lame 
Uh, but yeah, I hope that's all the problems that you're gonna have uh, and I really hope that you can enjoy these headphones, uh, try them out and uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you. Uh, thank you for watching till the end and see you in the next video. Bye!